the bed up and unlocking the little catches on the side, the little straps that hold the two bed sections together. The reason for that is very simple. The, uh, the two sections of the bed when they're travelling inside the trailer, if they're not locked together, they do this. So you keep them locked together so they don't move. You then bring the second section of the bed over. Once you've done that, the next process is to undo the pile of canvas which depending on how tight you fold it up the last time you used it as to how small it actually becomes because they are you can actually roll them up fairly small this one here which is the timeout deluxe which is the top of the range in the timeout trailers product uh, has six uh, sorry 22 cubic foot of storage space inside the trailer for your personal luggage once you've got all the campus folded inside the timeout which is the one over there has cubic foot of storage space for your personal luggage. Once you've done you just bring the canvas over and at the back of the canvas there is the main pile of canvas that you roll out onto the bed. I don't know if anyone's actually timing me but normally I can put one of these up in approximately five minutes. First time anyone ever puts one up they will usually take between 10 and 12 each time you do it thereafter you'll get quicker at it. The four corners of the, of the canvas actually has uh, like a very very thick stitching protection on it so that it doesn't actually rub or tear the canvas on the corners itself. The roof is totally waterproof and has a 70% heat block coating on it so there's only about a 30% heat transfer from outside the canvas to the inside of the tent. The next thing you do is you locate the front section of the canvas. Look for that thickened part and locate the snaps for those and put them in place. Same with the other corner. These trailers come by the camper trailers will come standard with full electric brakes, unlike other uh, trailers that are on the market. Time out trailers who have been manufacturing these products now for nearly 40 years believe that any no, the cycle pulling a camper trailer has to have brakes. We feel the same. All the uh, aluminium poles inside are all spring loaded, so all you do is push them up till they lock into place. Then you work your way back to the centre support. Just push that up till that one locks in. Then you work your way back to the back one. and push that one all the way up till they lock in. Then you climb out on the end of the bed. You put the pole up that tensions the canvas and pull down on the velcro strap to hold that uh, pole in place. At that point in time, it's just a matter of going around on the outside with all your snaps. There's approximately 15 of those. You've also got four little bungee cords that wrap around the jack stand and just put back into the little eyelets on the underside of the canvas. As you can see, there was two people doing it. By this stage, the person that's working inside's got the table set up, the chairs set up. If you're in an area where you feel you're going to have any problems with rain, the rain poles have been installed.
and the four bungee cords just locate into the little eyelets. I think that one took me six minutes. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask me or I'll go.